Hey guys, what's up? It's Cecily and it's this week in Write Your News. Instacart has emerged as an industry leader in grocery delivery, but one company hopes to emerge as the ethical choice, Enter Dumpling, a service that claims to allow the opportunity for you to build a business and relationship as a personal shopper. With your own clientele, shoppers also set up their own pricing, location, and collect all of their tips. Customers on the app enjoy a shopper versus an algorithm, and there are no markups or substitutions. This is some other feedback on the app. So based on the feedback, it's clear that there are some obvious advantages and disadvantages when using Dumpling. I really think that if Dumpling focuses on learning as much as they can about their product right now, in the pandemic, they'll be a contender for gig economy jobs. People will add yet another app, the Dumpling app, to their arsenal. Those are my thoughts. Uber's No Mask, No Ride campaign launched a few days ago and people have plenty to say about it. Full commercial is linked below. CNBC ran a story about an Uber Eats driver that's on the fast track to make $100,000. It's actually about a guy who did a TikTok challenge and made $8,000 in one month. Sam Lyon, a 26-year-old military vet and business owner and creator of the Uber Eats challenge and now internet famous, said that he committed to doing deliveries for 12 hours per day every day for the month of June, tracked his progress on TikTok, and by the end of the month, he made 795 deliveries and drove over 5,000 miles. It's no secret that gig economy jobs have the worst support for their contractors and customers. And now I'm finding out that their social media could possibly be worse. Today I saw a girl post a story about how chaotic Uber's Facebook fan page was. And I just had to see what all the hoopla was about. So at quick glance, you look at it and it looks like it's a place where a bunch of Uber riders complain and about Uber drivers. Um, but I just want to point out how support responded, like with empathy and concern, but <laughs> it seems like they have more work to do on their social media and other areas of their business, right? Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you are not subscribed, please subscribe. My videos are shown here each and every week, every Saturday morning. Appreciate you guys watching. Have a good one. Bye.